Hello from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. It's September 2021. I forgot the exact date, what but it's late night September? riding, and it's Oktoberfest. And I'm here with an Oktoberfest super fan. No, here he is, I'm finally experiencing an Oktoberfest event. And to be honest, it's probably the least eventful Oktoberfest based no, on last it year. It seems to have the most drinking out of all of them, which is yeah, it's drinking not. Yeah, but none of us are going to do any of that, but... No, so, yeah. why would you drink blooming alcohol? Oh God, I say that. Why would you drink alcohol? We're going to see what the event has to offer. And not drink alcohol. None of us are going to be drinking any naughty drinks. We'll see what uh, entertainment there is. Uh, we'll check out the hub, which is pretty much the event space. Uh, it's not parked quite, unfortunately. Shut up! <laughs> don't give them any ideas. Pleasure Beach, don't listen to what four are doing. Thank you. Listen, it's going to be funny. It's going to be a good day. But yeah, we'll spend plenty of time in the hub later. Not plenty of time, a little bit of time. Yeah. So apparently they do something in the hub at Oktoberfest. What do they do then? Hoi! From videos you've seen. That's literally all the Oktoberfest event is here. It's so stupid. <laughs> So apparently it's people in the hub going, WAY! Believe it or not, we have left the train at some point today, but we're back on it. We've had dinner, we've done Nickelodeon Street, Blue Flyer, a nice blast and probably something outside. Revolution. Uh, and Revolution, yeah. Um, but anyway, obviously it's an Oktoberfest vlog, um, but we don't do much to do with Oktoberfest, so it won't make much difference, but we are going to check out a show that is on in the hub at 2 o'clock. And Ben is very excited. No. I don't know how long the show my, is. I'm going to give my fair and square review this time. Yeah, because you'll have experienced it, but... Well, I still hate it. Yeah, two o'clock. Looking forward to that. I thought I'd film a clip that isn't us sat on the Pleasure Beach Express. We are walking around the park, as we already have done today. But <laughs> haven't filmed us doing that. We're going on a ride. And we're going on the best one here. And probably the best one in the country. In my opinion, we're going on Icon. Ben, do you agree with what I said? For the first time since March 2020, when it had to be removed to be more socially distant in here, the front row queue has returned to Icon, and I think that is a very good. And because there's no one in it apart from these two in front of us, we're heading on the front row. Oh yeah. Lovely to see it back. Here it is, this is where it all takes place. <laughs> There's nothing on at the minute, just music. What the hell? Loads of people. Welcome to the labyrinth. I hope they use this building in Journey to Hell. This would make such a good scare maze route. Like around there. Still not turn this on. Obviously the haunted swing hasn't reopened. But it did just have this rope stopping us from going in here. Now we've got these little temporary fences. Uh, which, yeah, looks like they were the extension to a ride uh, once. Got that sign there, if you can see that. But yeah, uh, obviously this one's stopping us from going in. And they're just there for storage. So yeah, interesting. Doesn't look like it's going to open any time soon. Which is a shame. Halloween is coming close. And Journey to Hell Freak Nights is back. And here is some merch. Love that, well, no, I don't actually like that hoodie. Devil's Gate Fountains, yeah, they've got all the line up Wait, on is there. Devil's Gate a fountain um, show? Impression of Ben, but can't it top right, or well, right, uh, to go and see a video that I filmed on the beach. Journey to Hell Free Night. Why it's do beginning. Pleasure Beach not do a much for events? New Ghost Train merch from yeah, last right. year. Um, so yeah, this has all replaced the 125th anniversary merch that has been here all season, so I would say it's a shame, but um, yeah, like this Ghost Train merch, that looks new actually, I don't remember this. This is a new little, I would say hoodie, but it doesn't have a hood, so just jumper. I like that actually. I do like that. But yeah, as I was saying, Pleasure Beach don't seem to do mugs. Like, I was hoping that they'd do a mug with 125th anniversary because if there's anything I collect, it is mugs. Um, yeah, I have a few shelves of them in my room, let's say. Right, what are you doing, Pleasure Beach? I was here on a. I was here last Tuesday and they'd moved the ride part section of the Kiss Me Quick shop from here, oh there, Revolution Resin, Charlotte Bradley, um, to over there where they was in 2019. And just over a week later, they're not there. 
I don't know where they are, but I'm gonna have to have a look for them. I'm gonna have to have a look around. I do not have a clue where they are. This step used to be used for them. But yeah, they, they, they were moved here last week and they've only lasted about a week. I swear they've removed them, haven't they? They've actually removed them this time. Who remembers April when I panicked and I thought they'd actually removed the ride parts and they were over here and I just didn't spot them and someone told us in the shop. Um, <laughs> shout out to you guys if you're watching because I, I think I told you my YouTube channel. But yeah, and now they've actually been removed. I'm gutted if that's the case, but just gonna have a quick look around. They've removed the authentic ride parts section of the Kids Be Quick shop. I found them! They've put them in! This telephone box! So pretty much halfway between the two locations they've been in. Um, but yeah, I found someone else who's looking for them as well. Here they are in the telephone box. But yeah, they haven't been removed, but they keep moving though. It's quite funny to be honest. But here we are. I won't do a video from here without going to look at the ride parts. But uh, yeah, a few shelves here. <laughs> Love that. But yeah, there we go. These authentic ride parts have been everywhere in this shop. They've been there, they've been up there last year, they've been here a few times, um, yeah, and now they're here. Like, I like the idea of putting them on this little telephone box thing, where you can also buy a magnet. I'm just glad they haven't been removed, but it doesn't look like there's anything new compared to last time we did a video here. So, yeah, still think that's Grand National Wood, but we'll see. I bet that's expensive. I've said it quite a lot but they need to label the parts and they need to price the parts so we know how how much they are but yeah I've seen that on the website I think that's either a wild mouse or a big one chain link but it's only half a link but yeah there we go it's moved again but I have to love the authentic ride park section of the Kiss Me Quick shop here it is the Oktoberfest music's blasting out much to Ben's delight <laughs> we're in the hub ladies and gentlemen and in 10 minutes we're going to have a show What's this, a spare piece of wood from Wild Mouse? Is it getting replaced? I very much doubt it. But yeah, you can get some beer. Uh, you can get your bratwurst somewhere. Shout out to Alice. See some donuts over there. Love it. You liking the music? Um, it's better than Folk soundtrack, at least it's, nah. <laughs> at least it's not replacing anything. Well, fair enough, fair enough. To be honest, I mean, it's not awful, but... Yeah. We've not got into the event I mean, properly. Well, yet. it's going to start in a few minutes and we're just standing yeah. at the back of the hub out of the way, started, to be honest. No one can hear I mean, all the tables are full, everyone's drinking beer. You know, we're not here for that. We're just here to check out the entertainment that they have an offer. And we'll probably just <laughs> go back to the rides, really. I can't stand here doing a vlog without mentioning the Wild yeah. House, though. Here we go, there's plenty of pretzels on offer. Is that a random bit of Nickelodeon Street Quad there, eh? A few minutes to go now until the show starts. Um, not really sure what to expect from this show, but we've come to see it anyway. Just to check it out really, and to get Ben involved with Oktoberfest. Surfa! Oh my God. I don't know what that means, but yeah. Here we go, here we go. Oh, I should've got the tripod out. I might just do that right now. What's gonna happen here? The amazing barbarian stompers. We think it might be Welcome starting. I think it might be starting, guys. This guy's just says good evening. I don't understand. It's it is. Oh, is that a trumpet there? Oh, it's not a trumpet. It's some other instrument. I'm contributing to the experience now. Here we are. There they are. They've got a jugger. Oh, it doesn't look like beer. Not another rant. <laughs> No, you did it because I brought you here. I'm doing this for the channel. Uh, yeah. Oh, he's got it. It's a trombone, I think it is. I forgot. Dance! 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 You as well! No, I'm not dancing. Oh, she's going to come over, isn't she? She's coming. I hope she gets Ben involved. I'm going to hide behind this shed here. It's not a shed, it's a shop sometimes.
Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. I don't know German. I wish Emily was here with us now. He's called Boris. He's called Boris. Is he a better prime than Boris Johnson? Is he more Probably. I'm not clapping. You could be on the ride right now. Oh, he's got a trumpet now. I'm getting the instruments mixed up. Yes, he has a, tro uh, a trophy, a trumpet. <laughs> and he's playing the trumpet right now, it seems. But that was a trombone, the first one. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it was a, I'm pretty sure it was a trombone. Yeah, it is, it is. Silly me. It's nine minutes past. We just got asked if we like drinking. I said, yes, I like drinking water. Nice. People yeah, no, that's not a good one. Bye bye. Ah, oh, you know what? <laughs> it's obviously not for me all this drinking stuff, but I like the atmosphere and this entertainment. Get out the way, you yeah, chair. Everyone watching, there's probably not many of you, but clap your hands. What do you there we go. Where's your drinks? Come on, I'm raising my bottle of water. Because I don't drink. <laughs> we look so silly. Come on, Ben. <laughs> She's got a coat. Ben's got his black current thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm enjoying this, you know. I quite like it. Oi, oi, oi. Um -pa, um -pa. Charcoal, charcoal. Yeah, what are we supposed to say to that? Fly, fly, Sumpa. Oh, we're supposed to drink them, are we? We're supposed to drink them. I'll stay right there in this he had a medal out, supposedly, from Germany. He's got talent. Don't know whether that's actually a thing or they're just making it up for the show, but yeah, fair play. The music. What's he doing? He's taking his socks off. What's this? This smelly sock. Yay! He's took one of his socks off. Ready? What is? I've got the music right here. Clap and honk. What so this, this is something you will not see anywhere else in the UK, in fact the world being performed because it's rubbish. <laughs> is he going to play the trombone with his toes? What? Go on. <laughs> Ben's not impressed, it's funny. <laughs> what? Oh my god, it's actually like... No, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's weird, but normal's boring. I'm so even shaking, I'm laughing. <laughs> hey, a magic trick. He's doing a magic trick now with what appears to be a puff of mat on his newspaper. Oh, I need to get him a shot. I have been drinking, I've been drinking water, it's good for you. Newspaper.
How much is big finale apparently? Hey, there we go. Is that a Viking hat to use in Valhalla? Singing then. <laughs> we get back. I agree to be honest. Fancy a lap on the big one. <laughs> German hand clock. There we go. Should we try and carry out? It's getting quite big to watch. We don't know what we're doing, but we're going to try and German hand clock. <laughs> German toasting There we go. I'm not gonna lie, this has been hilarious. I can't wait to watch that slap dance. Not the slap dance, the funny slap dance. Right, I'm getting an ache in my arm now, the amount of time that I'm not actually, but you know. <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I absolutely love that. That was amazing. Yeah, right. <laughs> and we're like just right at the back, just watching, not getting involved in anything. Uh, the Honestly, that was amazing. I don't know what I don't know whether it is just that it was so good or that Ben was there making it funny and oh I mean yeah like it's a good show. If it's for you, then you you will enjoy it. I mean, it's not for us, as I've said. And we just stood at the back to check it out and we made our own fun out of it and all that. But yeah, like, so much swinging your steins about and I'd swung my bottle of water about and put <laughs> you off camera funny moments as well. <laughs> but yeah, oh well, it was, it was amazing. Like, fair play, like, I had more fun then than what I did um, at Fort Park and Alton Towers combined, like October press wise. Um, to be honest, I didn't really get that much involved in Fort and October uh, Fort and Towers is October press. The only reason you have to see that was... after Barney is to experience. Fort. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> and what a waste of time. I had an amazing time in the hub. And I, I didn't. Ben didn't enjoy that at all. <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> I feel like that my the, the stuff I was saying in there was more entertaining than the actual show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, he did make it entertaining, but 
Yeah, I enjoyed it. I appreciate oh my word the sun. I appreciate what they're trying to do. And yeah, like I find the entertainment I found the entertainment quite funny. There's a Wallace on the loose. And we're about to go on his riveting ride. Grand National is on one train on each side instead of two on the late night riding. That is not good, it's been affecting capacity. But yeah, the park seems to I mean queues aren't too bad today. I think it yeah, it's getting to that point now where it's gonna empty out a bit, but I yeah. I think people are gonna leave and go and see the fireworks. Probably, yeah, because there's that firework competition on, which is cool. The weather has turned out nice. Journey to hell construction, it seems. Anyway, I haven't done much vlogging today, apart from in the hub and on the Pleasure Beach Express. Uh, I don't even know whether I've done the usual we've done icon we've done big one but we have done icon and done big one multiple times it's losing focus and yeah just turn my camera off in the middle of filming as i do at least once every video because i don't know why to be well, honest but yeah uh icons flying like it's what it was 10 past seven last time we did it it's gonna be so good at half nine tonight um well same with the big one really the big one is running well it's going quick but yeah there we go, and the sun is going down. It's cloudy, unfortunately. So we're not having the nicest of sunsets, the nicest of night skies. We want it to go dark now, so we can get night rides. I mean, it is pretty much dark, but have you enjoyed the rides we've done today? Yeah. There he is, back where he was earlier to watch people play trombones and trumpets and raise the steins in the air. We now have DJ Hazard. The highlight, one of the highlights of late night riding for me. Ah, oh, he brings some good atmosphere to this area of Pudge Beach. He's sometimes on FLF4 and he's sometimes in the hub. Ah, oh, here he is. There we go, the atmosphere. Love it. We've had two good rides on Ipper today as well. Also known as the Big Dipper. When the lights work at late night ridings. Which isn't tonight. I love the Smooth Wood and Roller Coaster as I always. Did. Second about row this time, but yeah, as you can tell, it's dark. The one good thing about this time of year is that, well, <laughs> normally I don't like it when it goes dark early, but when you're at a theme park, when you're at Blackpool Pleasure Beach late night riding, you want it to go dark as soon as it can. So yeah, it's the only exception to me hating this time of year as a whole, like summer over winter any day. So obviously it's got to that point where you know, icon and big one are those night rides that we prioritise. So we're gonna do those two right now. We're probably gonna have a bit of spare time left, but who cares? As long as we get our night rides on, I come to the big one again. Well, the big one's he stopped, but that should be fine by the time we get round to, you know, doing it. I mean, we have got a few hours left. Well, just short two hours. Revolution. Quiet. All right, then. Didn't manage to get him in the vlog or anything, but um, we've just had an incredible ride on the big one. Started, the ride was flying. It was going so quickly. We were sat in the middle and it was incredible. But we all had this ride on the big one with a massive group of people from off the tracks. Obviously, led by Coaster Dan. And there was Theme Park Jake and his dad. There was Xavier from Inversion Addicts. There was Luke O'Neill there. Uh, big Sean Bess who didn't come on the ride with us. Um, and yeah, like, massive group of us. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you will be watching this vlog, but that ride was incredible. Thanks for offering us to come on the same train as you. Um, like, yeah, I was like, so Danny saw the fireworks up north as well. <laughs> That's the reason they wanted to go on it, and we managed to catch them at the right time and head on the same train. But yeah, oh, thank you very much for that. Um, yeah, they all do incredible content. I'll probably put a link. I'll probably put links to them all in the description to all the YouTube channels and Instagram if they don't have YouTube channels. You get the idea. Um, yeah, they are all amazing people. Um, I've met Jake before, but yeah, the rest of them I've met in person for the first time. And yeah, like, oh, they're so nice. Um, but yeah, looking forward to doing a takeover live tomorrow. But yeah, this vlog will be out well after that. So yeah. <laughs> but yeah, thanks very much for that. Really enjoyed that ride. Hope you had a good day. All right then, very awkward lighting, but this is probably going to be our last ride of the day. Yeah. Because we've got time. And we're going to try and make it to the front row. Hopefully the front row key is not massive. But yeah, last ride of the day. 
icon. It's going to be an icon. What an amazing day we've had. One of the best days of the season, I think. I would agree. Look at that. I love this place. Uh, I've had enough of coasters. Dodging to walk on. No. I have not had enough of coasters though. We have time for one more, we think. If we make it there. We will make it's it It's probably going to be big dip. I tell you what, I don't want to drink us anything, but he's been alive today. Every time I've walked past, he's been li he's been moving and laughing. There we go, for once. Oh. Oh, for God's sake, I drink stick. Never speak too soon. But yeah, Big Dipper. Ah, oh, today's been lovely. Well, do you reckon we'll make it possible? Right, so we saw that Big Dipper had took a train off and we thought, might as well just go and do National instead. Um, that's closed, apparently. It's seven minutes to. Seven minutes to ten. All queues at Pleasure Beach. They're supposed to stay open until ten. That's obviously not been the case. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know whether... They were supposed to close early, but it's the first I've heard of them being supposed to do that. So, yeah, who knows? Maybe they've just gone. Nah, yeah, let's just not let anyone else into this queue line. It's not good at all. I wonder if they've done the same thing on Ipper. It didn't look like it. So, yeah, like, it is what it is if they have, but it's 5 2 now. But, yeah, apparently this ride's closed for the Iron National. Yeah, Grand National, take note, you're supposed to stay keep your queue line open till 10. I might prefer it, but we don't need Grand National Not to be ringing. the last ride of the day. Because that was incredible on Big Dipper. <laughs> nice back row. That's been an incredible day at Pleasure Beach. Um, the rides were amazing, the park's amazing, seen some familiar faces, um, met people from off the tracks and um, yeah, just all of these. That ride on the big one was amazing. Um, great company with Ben and Danielle as well. It's just amazing. Um, September seems to be that month where, after a summer of coming here a lot, it, we always go like down south a lot in like and Twalton Towers in September. So we rarely come to the local and my favourite park. And you know, it's always the end, it's near the end of the month now, and you always end up coming back. Um, I did a midweek visit last week, so that was nice. But apart from that. Like this has been my first proper visit to Pleasure Beach of uh, this month and probably the only one which which isn't nice but um, yeah but when you do come back after going all over the place um, to other parks and stuff when you come back to your favourite and your local it makes you really appreciate it and yeah like there's just no other park that gives me that feeling of appreciation than Pleasure Beach like I just love this place more than any other park and any other place in general, unfortunately for Oh and Towers, I mean I love them all but yeah Pleasure Beach there's just something about it. I don't really know what it is, I just like it. This what I mentioned, um it was about three weeks ago now and I wasn't vlogging. Um I got recognised twice. Um so there was these people who shouted down for the Big Dipper Q line and said they enjoyed watching the videos which is really nice, they messaged on Instagram afterwards which was nice um, and then this is the awkward one, someone, um, me and Ben was like talking, we were in our own little world, we were just talking uh, near the toilets near Revolution and um, yeah someone comes over and says like your videos were a good watch, I enjoy watching your videos and for some reason at the time I was really tired and stuff and yeah, like, I just wasn't able to hear and process what he was saying, so I had to get, like, I was getting him to repeat what he was saying, so that was awkward. But we got there in the end, he said he liked watching my videos, which I really appreciated. But yeah, I do apologise to you all if, it, if I came across as a bit awkward there, but it is what it is. But yeah, I know that was random, but I thought, like, when that happened, like, next time I do a vlog from here, I've got to mention it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Check out the screen now to see more. I'll see you next time.